this is our pipe friction apparatus through which we find out the value of coefficient of friction first of all the description of apparatus there are three pipe in this setup at a time we take one pipe for experiment this is lower pipe diameter 15 mm this is middle pipe diameter 20 mm this is upper pipe diameter 20 mm this is the tap of entry section this is the tap of exit section through which we get pressure head of water the length between these two tap that means the l is 1.5 meter through this valve there is the ball valve this valve through this valve we allow to flow the fluid or to flow the water in one pipe at the time of experiment here it is the u tube differential mercury manometer we use this manometer to get the difference of pressure head or head loss this is the storage tank in which we take a lots of water to flow the flow circuit this is measuring tank through which we get the discharge that means it is discharge measuring tank for experiment we take one pipe in action first of all we take the lower pipe for the experiment so lower we allow water through this pipe and here we collect this water through this diverter into the measuring tank here we get the pressure head of entrance section here we get the pressure head of exit section through this two pipe it will through this connector it will go to the mercury manometer this is the left limb of the mercury manometer it is the right limb of mercury manometer the difference between two limb we get that different of pressure head but remember this pressure head in respect of mercury because we use mercury as a manometric fluid so we have to convert this mercury head to the water head with the help of an equation which is very easy you have already known it in your theory class stop now we get the result from here which is hf of the equation we get the tap to this tap the length between this two tap is the length of the pipe which is l of the equation if we get the diameter of the pipe then we get the internal area of the pipe with the help of pi by 4 d square that means area of the pipe and after flowing the fluid we get the discharge from the discharge measuring tank that means measuring tank we get discharge with the help of the formula l into b into h divided p that means discharge of the flow if we get the discharge of the flow we divide this flow by this discharge through this area we get the velocity of the pipe if we get hf of the equation l of the equation velocity of the equation diameter of the equation and at last we get find the value of coefficient of friction through this pipe by calculating the equation okay bolori we get same equation from middle pipe and from upper pipe if we use three pipe in experiment we get three value of 
coefficient of discharge sorry coefficient is not not it is coefficient of friction we get three value of coefficient of friction of three different pipe and at last we take an average of three values of coefficient of friction and get the final value of coefficient of friction okay now here we know the actual discharge this is formula you know better and area and velocity is equal to discharge so velocity is equal to discharge by area so we get the velocity that means we know the darcy weisbach formula h is equal to 4f lv square by 2g into d we get total value of here that is h a value we get from the differential manometer the value of g we already known d is the diameter of the pipe L is the length between two taps from section A and section B, or you can say it the section of entry section and exit section. The V is the velocity of flow, which we have already calculated. So we get the different value of this. So it is very much easy to get the value of F. Okay.